Whether you're an accomplished artist or trying your hand at mosaics for the first time, being involved in something creative is a great way to age well. And that's why Splendido, a life plan community for those 55 and better, has a robust creative arts program, including a much used on-site art studio. And joining us to talk about that are Mar Margaret Carlock Russo, and art an art therapist and Splendido resident, Ann Burns. Thank you both so much for being here. It's good to be here. Pleasure. I'm having trouble reading today, but I'm glad you guys are joining <laughs> me. So, Margaret, let's start with you first of all. Um, for folks who are not familiar with Splendido, tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about it. Sure. Uh, Splendido is a life plan community, as you stated, uh, up in Oro Valley mm -hmm. for people 55 and better. And it's a wonderful environment where individuals can live the resort lifestyle uh, that they hope to in retirement, but also, should they need it, they have the um, comfort of knowing that there is a care center right there as well, and that's Sonora. Definitely, and we've seen these photos before too. It's just gorgeous there. I mm -hmm. mean, to, to think you're living in a resort style place, mm -hmm. uh, who wouldn't want that, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. as an art therapist, how does art and your work sort of fit into the mix there at Splendido? Sure. Well, working with the creative arts is an amazing opportunity for me. Mm -hmm. I'm an art therapist, as you mentioned, um, which is a mental health profession. So yeah. I can straddle the line between helping individuals who maybe just want to learn something new mm -hmm. um, and try out the creative process and, or people who may also be going through some difficulties, a loss, a change in lifestyle, whatever, and uh, they can use the art therapy as a way of helping them cope with those situations. Wow. So we, we do a variety of things there. Just incredible, like we said at the top, the power of art. You mm -hmm. really can't beat it. And Anne, of course, you've been a resident there at Splendido for a few years. Tell us about how you've been involved uh, with art during your time there. Well, it actually started before I moved to Splendido. Mm -hmm. I was in Carlsbad, California, uh -huh. taking watercolor classes at the Maricosta Community College. And then I decided to move back to Tucson. And the instructor at our Tucson studio was teaching acrylics. So I went out and bought acrylics and started using acrylics and have enjoyed it very much. Wow, and mm -hmm. I think that that was a photo of you. You looked positively radiant with the, you know, you were painting a pineapple, My pineapple. there. pineapple. <laughs> it looked great, better than anything I've ever painted. <laughs> so what's it like uh, to have that studio space at Splendido, to be able to go there and be artistic and creative? It's very nice because we have uh, some of us small apartments, others larger apartments, mm -hmm. but we don't want to have uh, all of that in, laid out in our apartment, sure. so we have the the uh, studio where we can keep our things and we can go down there and work whenever this studio is available, which is a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. to have a space dedicated to that, it's so great. You can kind of escape, you know, the problems of everyday life. Not that there are many problems there at Splendido, <laughs> of course, you guys are well taken care of, but it's a nice place to go and just get your mind off things mm -hmm. and, and the therapeutic nature of art. You can get lost in it in hours, I'm sure. Definitely. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, Margaret, you recently led a community-wide project mm -hmm. uh, with some mosaic art. You brought an example, yes, actually, absolutely. here. Tell us about that project. Well, the project was a, an effort to really bring community members together, whether Mm -hmm. independent living or in the care center and to provide a social aspect and connection among uh, among residents so we had this very large project mm -hmm. where um, we used uh, butterfly templates and in individuals were able to glue on the various mosaic patterns mm -hmm. um, we chose monarch because uh, splendido color is orange yeah. but also also very importantly because many of our residents migrate from other parts of the country and come together at splendido for their retirement so we thought that was a great symbol and uh, it was a wonderful way for people to have fun socialize and be creative at the same time as connecting with other members in the community yeah that's the other thing too is the social aspect mm -hmm. I mean it really is profound I'm sure you've made so many friends there mm -hmm. over yes. your years at Splendido and you and were a part of this mosaic project how, how did it go for you it went very well <laughs> we were at a table of people that I knew mm -hmm. and it was for independent living uh, residents uh -huh. And we were each doing our individual uh, butterfly. I had my glue bottle in one hand and my little mosaics in the other, and I was going to town. But I could <laughs> see what the others at the table yeah. were doing too, and it was fun. Great, so did you have any inspiration for how you wanted to design it? I mean, what's the scheme that you kind of went for on your personal butterfly? Well, I wanted to have it uh, balanced yeah so I would put something on this side and something on this side and then around try to make it look balanced mm -hmm. it turned out pretty well 
great. <laughs> I mean, it, again, that's the complete solution there mm -hmm. at Splendido. You have activities like this. You mm -hmm. have everything else taken care of. We've heard mm -hmm. so many other positive aspects of Splendido, too. And here you are with a big smile on your face. <laughs> and it's just a testament to what a great community it is. And, and Margaret, before yeah. I let you go, anything else you want to leave us well, with? Well, I just want to add that these butterflies are now going to be installed around the community oh, wow. as a reminder of the, the a symbol of the members in the community, but also a reminder of our community and our working together. Uh, so there'll be some in our sensory garden in the care Great. center and some over in independent living as well. Just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you both so much for coming here, sharing a bit of your story with me. Uh, and congrats on, on being an artist. I, oh, I could only you. dream of being an artist someday. <laughs> and Margaret, for everything you're doing there at Splendido. Thank you very much. Thanks to both mm -hmm. of you. Now discover a Splendido way of life. To learn more, log on to SplendidoTucson.com or call 520-762-4091.